Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's the meme. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hawaii! <laughs> ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's amazing. Ugh. Lisette Evans, your face is white as a sheet. What's wrong? And there's the fan server shot. There you go. For everyone out there. <laughs> <laughs> On this episode of Cheers, That's we'll, what I was we'll, too, yeah. we'll hortify a loaf with a mystery woman. Will Lisette kick, kick Horse Defont's butt? Find out next in the next episode of Cheaters Final Fantasy Edition. Lisette, but our meeting was not to be until later. Uh oh. But what's caught? These are the two cheaters right here. <laughs> I'm the cameraman. I got it all. You got it all on camera? Alright. All on camera, yep. Lissette looks pissed. Look at her. He's like, what is going on? Arms are crossed. She's pissed off. How Emily's like you? Emily's like, what the hell's going on? Alright, Slime, where are you at? I'm over at uh Mia Kettle's amphitheater. Okay, I'm ready over here. I just teleported in. Let's see. Oh, hey, I saw you. Hey, I saw me? I'm, I'm standing out front. Yep. So the giant rock. Hey, it looks good on you. Yeah. Slam. <laughs> Thanks, you too. Yeah, you got the red on and stuff. Yep. Cool. Looks good. Yeah, sweet. That's cool. I, I got a book, dude. Holy crap. That book's awesome. Well, thanks, yeah. I forgot where you got that from. I don't remember either. I, I don't remember where I got half this gear from either, to be, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. He's acting like that shield. I don't remember where you got that shield from. It's been so long. We've been so yeah. many, juggling so many different games. I like your uh, your minion. His little book. Oh yeah, I got him as a little book. Yeah. He's... That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Huh. I decided to change him. Did, did you change? Oh, you still got the Ryu no. Ryu no yeah, I'll, I'll stick with him for now. Alright. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, hey heroes, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Oh. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, heroes. So, Valentine's is over, but there's still love in the air in Final Fantasy, so we're gonna check out this new uh, Valentine's event going on right now. Yeah. That's what it's all about, so let's go check it out real quick. It's- oh no, it's Astrid again? Aw, oh, crap. Oh, from last year. Yeah, yeah. I forgot how tiny she was, jeez. Alright. What do you got, Astrid? The symbol of love. Hello there, friend. Can you feel that? Love is in the air, just waiting to be snatched up by questing hands. That means Valentine's Day is upon us once more, and I, Astrid de Valentine, and my fellow emissaries are here to support all who would avail themselves to this bounty. Oh, but I know you, Rodin. Forgive me, I do get so caught up in my introduction. It is an absolute pleasure to see you again. Come to think of it, an intrepid adventurer like you might be just what I require. Might I ask a favor of you? A fellow emissary by the name of Emil departed earlier to prepare a little surprise for our festivities. You see, but she's been gone for quite some time. I would like you to make sure she hasn't gotten herself into trouble. I would go myself or ask one of my associates to check up on her, but all are busy guiding our love-starred revelers. Will you do me this favor? I am in your debt. Before she left, Emile said she would be practicing under the trees near Ben Yill Fineries. No doubt you will find her there. Pray with all, pray go with all haste. All right, let's go. I think it's a little marker on the map. There, slam. See it? Uh, I'm trying to find it. I don't know if I see it. Follow me. Okay. I like this armor set. Actually, that's pretty cool. It is cool looking, man. I like the shield and sword. I got too, a wooden so. wooden paddle. This, that kind of doesn't really oh, fit. Oh, but... it's a paddle. <laughs> oh, man. that's funny. Oh, here's a meal. Meal so tiny too. It's high back here. Actually, is it it's is it Emil or Emily? Right, Emily, huh? Oh, Emily. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I said Emil earlier. Apologize for that. Let's try to start calling by her proper name. All right. 
<laughs> it looked like a meal, though. Yeah. It looked like it. If I shift the angle just the teensiest bit, I bet I can triple the cuteness factor. No, quadruple it. Whoa! Oh, it's you! What brings you here, Froden? Ah, so Astrid asked you to check on me. I appreciate you coming on her behalf. I suppose you're wondering what I've been practicing here, so far away from prying eyes. Patience, my friend, patience. If you truly wish to see what I've been cooking up, pray come to Mikael's amphitheater. Oh, we gotta go back to the theater? We were just there! Alright, whatever. <laughs> oh, what? What is this cat and mouse game we're playing over here, man? Yeah, we were just there. It looks nice out here, though, in the sun. It is, it's so pretty. Uh, look at this. How they prettied this up. I mean, it was like this kind of last year, the same thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Wow. And the same music, too, from last year. Yeah. The decorations are pretty much the same, too, but it still looks really, really nice. It is pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, Emily, what you gotta say? I knew you wouldn't be able to resist! Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> you brought her back as promised! Thank you, Froden! She intends to demonstrate her, what did she call it? Right, love heart on stage in just a moment. You can be part of her very first audience. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's the meme. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii! <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh. That was, um, yes, cute. So this is what you've been working on. The Gridanians are a reserved people who have long been reluctant to openly express their feelings to one another. Yeah, I believe it is of utmost importance that we open our hearts to those we hold dear. In this season of love, most of all, now is the time for everyone to shed their fears and wear their affections on their sleeve. That's what inspired me to come up with Love Heart. I can only hope the simple expression is enough to motivate people to act. <laughs> it's a cute emote, actually. Well, it certainly appears to have made an impression. Navigating matters of love is often a nerve-wracking task, even for the boldest of us. Yet, with this gesture, I believe you've given the townsfolk the perfect means to convey their feelings. Emily, I encourage you to go about the city and perform the pose before any you might find floundering in the ocean of love. Go on and ignite the passion in their hearts. Leave it to me! Would you mind lending a hand as well, Froden? As an adventurer, I'm sure you've touched the hearts of many. There are doubtless few more qualified to guide others in pursuing and realizing their passion. <laughs> you got it. Wonderful! Now before we set forth, I would ask you to remain on the stage for a while so we can judge your pose. Considering the import of our mission, I'm afraid we can't leave till until it is flawless. Oh, great. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Oh no, like, what happened to me? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> My, I have equal amounts impressed and envious that you managed to perfect the gesture in a sh so short a time. It took me ages just to get the hands right. And it's raining too, isn't this crazy right now? Mine is, it's, it's raining right now. It, it's raining in mine too, yeah. <laughs> Ideally, I would like you both to get started immediately, yet I do wish we had another emissary. And how serendipitous it is that I am here to offer my services. Who is this? Oh! Lisette! How long has it been, my friend? Too long, surely. You have my personal gratitude for assisting Astrid with the celebration. Wow, her outfit is actually really cool. 
It's kind of yeah. like, uh, what's it called? A Harley Quinn look. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. I forgot. Did you wear that last year? I don't remember, Maybe? but yeah. I like the oven mitts and the, yeah, stockings. It's interesting. Very nice. Yeah. I think uh, Emily was here last year, too, with Asher. They're like sisters, right? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. They. That's that's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. They were. I think they were yeah. all here last year. Yeah. Yes, well, pleased though I am for your offer, should you not be enjoying the festivities with your beloved? My adorable Astrid, though I may have relinquished the burden of leadership, I have not abandoned my duty as a herald of love. You said yourself that you lack a capable help. And I am here, yes? As a daughter of House Valentine, I cannot stand by as the flames of Ardor dwindle. Let her help, Astrid! It might be just what she needs before her rendezvous with... Hort Hortifon. Oh, no. <sighs> Emily, I told you about that in confidence! Aha, so that's the way of it. In that case, your aid is most welcome. Well, with that settled, let us go forth and quicken the seeds of romance to sprout throughout Gridania. Pray teach me this pose of yours, Emily. Yes, ma'am. Might I suggest we split up? Our adventure friend here can handle old Gridania whilst Lis Lissy and I cover new Gridania. Given the season, you shall no doubt find more than one individual who is flummoxed by their feelings. Strike our pose before these lost souls, and with an outpouring of love, grant them the courage to tell what's in their hearts. There are a few areas in particular I'd like you to visit once you're ready. Just say the word and we can begin. We got the pose ready. All right. Love heart. Oh my gosh, Slim already has it out. Uh, yeah, I just, I guessed. I just typed in uh, four slash heart. Was that really? Oh, wow. Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> that timing. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good slam. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, yeah, let's do it. It's all about heart. Ready? Wonderful. I've marked out a few locations in the area where people tend to mingle. I'm confident you will find more than a few individuals in need of a little push. Show them your best rendition of the love heart to give them the courage they need. This person was named after a river. Rio Grande, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pray visit the locations that I marked on your map and perform the love heart to inspire those lost in the throes of love. Okay. There's one over here, up at the north. Hey, my umbrella actually match matches my... Uh, oh, you too! Oh, hey, too, we have yeah. matching umbrellas. Yes. Oh, your umbrella's actually bigger, too, because you're oh, a it's, rock. It's so rainy on this day. Wow, wow. it was so sunny just a minute ago. Well... Yeah, wow. It's weird, because earlier it was literally raining, too, and then it became sunny for just a little bit. I know. Well, it's rainy again. I'm supposed to be here somewhere. Okay, here I go. I'm gonna be here. Hopeless, a hopeless lass. Aw. Such a perfect specimen. Firm, but soft in the right places. Gods, I can just eat them right up. Er, not the produce, mind you. Him, the proprietor. I only wish I knew how to tell him the way I feel. Who are you looking wow. at? <laughs> just talking about the proprietor? Wow. Uh, okay. We're gonna stoke the flame. Is it... This guy here? And it's this guy, huh? Yeah, so we gotta do that for her first, though? Yep, alright. Well, okay. here you go. Here's your love heart. That's an adorable pose. But why show it to me? You meant to encourage me. That is very kind of you, but I'm afraid I find the prospect of confess confession daunting. <gasps> Though, I could 
ask him his professional opinion on which vegetables are the most suited to be cut into heart shapes. A completely natural question considering the spirit of Valentine's Day, yes? Truth be told, I've had my eye on him for some time now. I simply didn't know how to approach, but thanks to your unique motivation, I finally found the inspiration I needed. Though it occurs to me, how did the heart become associated with Valentine's Day in the first place? I hope to Nofika he doesn't ask me. Okay. Good luck. Good luck, hopelessness. How did the heart become a symbol of Valentine's Day? Don't know. It's a good question, I guess, huh? Yeah, I don't know. That is kind of weird. So the dejected lad. Oh, no. Oh, my love. What have I done to incense you so? Okay, we have to lift a spirit with a love heart. He's sad. Um, you pose quite the pose. I see. It's a symbol of love. A call to bear one's heart, scars and all. My beloved stormed off earlier because I was terribly late for our rendezvous. I dared not tell her the reason for fear it would vex her further. I had been so preoccupied selecting the gift for her that I lost track of time. I must apologize to her and explain myself. Thank you for helping me to see that, my friend. Mayhap there is time yet for our Valentine's Day miracle. Yeah. Good luck. You're gonna need it. <laughs> yeah, good luck, kid. We're gonna throw it in right here, yeah. This one here? What, what is it? If you have a manager report, keep it short. I'm rather preoccupied at present. Perhaps I could invite him to a meal, but how would I even broach the subject? Okay, time to give my love. Love heart. So stop that! Well, what manner of strange gestulation have you just accosted me with? A curse? Nay, an insult? Explain yourself this instant! Oh, uh, excuse me, I I need to be brave enough to express my feelings? Are you claiming that I, a proud lancer of the Wood Whalers, lack courage of all things? Well, you'd be right. I'm too craven to invite someone to a simple meal, but your gesture, now that I understand its intent, has kindled my warrior spirit. I will carry out this task as if it were my sworn duty. My thanks, adventurer, and forgive me for assuming the worst. Huh. Alright, we gotta go back to the amphitheater. Alright. Sweet. Okay. Uh, I'll probably just teleport with this little here, eight the right here. And we're back. People can't seem to get enough of the love heart. Yeah, good job. You're back. Seeing as my sister has yet to return, might I ask you and Emily to recount how you fared in the meantime? Well, I found the pose to be eye-catching if nothing else. Perhaps even embarrassingly so, even though it was I who invented it. Regardless, I am proud to say folk here here, we're practically lining up to see it. What about you, Froden? I agree. <laughs> I see. Whilst I'm glad to hear others were spurred to action, it saddens me slightly that some do not know the origins of Valentine's Day symbol. The heart. Which makes me wonder, are you too aware of how it came to be associated with Valentine's Day? I haven't the slightest idea. I've never thought about it. I it has something to do with House Valentine. I think maybe. Hmm. You want to say that one? Okay. Yeah, I'll try that one. It has something to do with House Valentine. I think maybe. Indeed, but that only scratches the surface. Allow me to elaborate. It all began with. Ugh. 
Lissette! Evans, your face is white as a sheet. What's wrong? And there's the fan server shot. There you go. For everyone out there. <laughs> <laughs> Portifa, I, I saw him speaking with a woman in Caroline Canopy. They were alone together, speaking intimately. Oh no. You don't suppose it was... Oh gods! You don't suppose it was a tryst? Do you? Absolutely not! You know Hor Hortifant would never be unfaithful to you. Nay, purge the very thought from your mind. I know, but when I saw him and that woman whispering to each other like they were in their own little world, my heart stopped. Before I knew it, I was running from the sight of them as fast as my legs would take me. Love is the fruit born of bravery. Have you forgotten those words, Lisette? They are our words, passed down by our ancestor, Countess Arabelle de Valentine. She summoned the courage to pursue love through all manner of hardship. And she was not merely a countess, but also a warrior true. Not symbolizes what she fought for more than her crimson shield, forged in the shape of a heart. The symbol is a source of courage. Remember that. Thank you, Astrid. You are right. Countess Arabelle would be mortified to see her pro progeny act with such cowardice. I must honor her legacy. I, I am ready, Portifa. If he intends to elope with another woman and live to tell the tale, he has another thing coming. You see, I said think. I have another think coming. <laughs> a little bit of a typo there. I am, I am clueless as to the nature of Portifa's connection with this Mr. Woman. woman. But I dare say Lisette needs friends by her side. Might I prevail upon you both to join her? But of course, leave it to us. Time to go catch a cheater. Let's go. <laughs> you have my gratitude. I place her in your capable hands. On this episode of Cheers, That's will, Liz will, will yeah. Hortify <laughs> elope with a mystery woman? Will Lisette kick, kick Horse to Font's butt? Find out next in the next episode of Cheaters. Final Fantasy Edition. Right, Dude, I was, I was thinking of what show that was. I was thinking of what it Cheaters. was. I forgot the name. Yeah. yeah, I forgot the name. We better hurry. She said Horse to Font and this unknown woman were in the Caroline Canopy. I'm sure that's where she's headed. Time to open up a can of whoop ass. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know that whatever comes, you'll be there for Lisette. Now please head to the Caroline Canopy with all haste. What is it? Right here? Oh yeah, you got it. Here they are, all are. Oh, there's the dem there's the demure damsel. Here we go. Say, Hortifon, isn't that? Yeah, you're in trouble, dude. <laughs> Lisette, but our meeting was not to be until later. Uh oh. But what's caught? These are the two cheaters right here. <laughs> I'm the camera man. I got it all. You got it all on camera? Alright. All on camera, yep. There you are. The situation looks rather tense. Yeah, no kidding, man. You could uh, cut this uh, scene with a hot butter knife, man. Holy crap. Alright, here we go. Lissette well, looks pissed. Look at her. He's like, what is going on? Arms are crossed. She's pissed off. Emily's like you. Emily's like, what the hell's going on? Yeah. And and uh, these two are shocked. I guess we're gonna find out. So. Here we go. Oh, Portafa! Who, who is that wo wo woman? God, she's lost control of her tongue. What should we do? 
Love is a fruit born of bravery. Are make are your ancestor proud? <laughs> they're both kind of. <laughs> they're both the same thing. Um. I'll say, love is the fruit born of bravery. Portafon Pastor it Portafon Pastoroy. I think that's why I think I said right. Portafon Pastoroy. Right? Sounds right, yeah. <laughs> I apologize to anyone out there who knows French. But uh yeah, let's just we'll go with that. Portafon Pastoroy. For what reason do you intimate yourself with this humbly young maiden, knowing full well that another has entrusted her future to you? Well, what have you not to say for yourself? Um, it would seem nerves caused Lisette to fall back to into the mannerisms of her noble upbringing. Oh dear, I'm terribly sorry. This is all a misunderstanding. I came to Hortifa for counsel as I admire the devoted relationship that he has with you. I was hoping he could offer me advice in nurturing a similar bond with the one I adore. Lisette, my love, my first thought was that you could not bear to wait another moment for our meeting, but now I see you could not bear the thought of me with another. Tis as if the very furry herself stands before me. A goddess in both spirit and flesh, full of passion and devotion. Oh, what a fortunate man I am. Say furry? <laughs> Did I say furry? Yeah. Fury. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> furry. Uh, Fury. Uh, my, my, my apologies. <laughs> it's late, guys. Okay, anyway. <laughs> And I regret that my actions would cause you even a moment of suffering. Please set your heart at ease, my darling. I have eyes for none but you, now and forever. I only chose a private location so this young lady could seek counsel away from eavesdroppers. Oh, that's it? Gods! I have made a complete fool of myself. Forgive me, both of you. That lady of House Valentine should comport herself in such a way. I am completely ashamed. If I may, my lady, I now understand why you would be upset, and I admire your bravery for confronting us. With that, I had the courage to give voice to my own feelings. I may no longer be the head emissary of love, but I am as well equipped as ever to speak on matters of the heart. <laughs> I love it what the elf admits. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. <laughs> love is the fruit born of bravery, my dear. Though it is terrifying to bear your heart to another, it is more terrifying still to live never knowing what might have been. You must confess. I promise you the risk is worth the reward. I, I suppose I would regret it for the rest of my days if I never found love because I was too afraid to fight for it. You're right, my lady. I will do my best. What was that noise? Once again, forgive me for... Portifa? What's wrong? Ugh. The sight of your angelic post struck me to my very core. My heart is like to burst from my chest. I think that means he'll live. Anyway, the two of us will return an apprised asterisk of what has happened here. I trust you won't mind if we inform her that you and Hortifon will be partaking in the festivities earlier than scheduled. Wow. Woo -woo. Well, twas our plan from the beginning, and it would do much to smooth over this little misunderstanding. Please extend my apologies to Astrid for any worry it might have caused. Let us return to Mia Kato's amphitheater and give Astrid the good news.
Oh my gosh. That was quite the thing. Fortifant fell so in love, he couldn't move. Be still, my heart. <laughs> oh, for the love of, would you just please get up? Oh my gosh. Ah, love. It weakens the knees, right? That's what happened. That's what they were trying to say there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's it. Makes you do dumb things too sometimes. In, the, yeah, in all honesty. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. Amphitheater. Yep. And I'll check my, I'll check my mail too over there. Oh, yeah, I can do that too. Charles spoiling us again, probably. More than likely. Let's see. Watch us be totally wrong. They have a letter! Oh, it is! Oh my gosh, she spoiled us again. Oh! Happy V Day and Chinese New Year! Hope wow. to play more with you guys. Hell yeah! Wow, thanks for She gave us white chocolate, heart chocolate, carnation, and that's some money. <laughs> wow! What? Oh, that's too nice. Yeah, that, that's amazing. Yeah, I'll what? say. Thank you so much. All right, let's finish up this quest, Slam. I wonder if there's more. I'm guessing they're gonna have more probably after those two. I'm guessing, but we'll see. Other other stories, we'll see. I'll let you do the honors. It was your words which brought Liss Lissy back to her senses. After all, I'm not used to her calling her calling her Lissy at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm so relieved. It was all just an unfortunate misunderstanding. I must thank you for being there for my sister. It truly means the world. You deserve my thanks as well, Emily. Don't mention it. I'm happy we were able to help. Though we've had our ups and downs, I believe we've accomplished our goal of showing folk how important it is to express their feelings to those they hold dear. All in all, I'd say this Valentine's Day has been a success. Which reminds me, although my explanation of the heart's origins was interspersed with some dramatics, I take it you were able to piece together its meaning. Yes, indeed. A noble woman and a proud knight, Countess Arabelle's legacy lives on uh, not only in the, in the tradition of Valentine's Day, but in its symbol, her beloved heart-shaped shield. Well, that's cool, actually. In commemoration of her brave pursuit of love, in the face of insurmountable odds, the heart came to symbolize her, and eventually, the very concept of love itself, capturing the imaginations of men and women around the world. Today, while many may recognize the symbol, few know of its history. With Emily's love heart, I believe people will come curious to know the story of our tradition, and for that, I am overjoyed. Countess Arabelle's tale will undoubtedly give many the courage to pursue love, just as it did your sister. May we all learn from the Countess's example. I pray you and yours have a Valentine's Day overflowing with affection, my friend. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, Valentine's Day. Yep. That was it, I think, huh? Let's go. Countess oh. Arabelle was not only a dignified lady, but a noble knight with the resolve and grace to see her passions realized. Tell me, do you know how she developed such fortitude? Well, I have heard it said that the Countess would train at dawn and dusk each day, eschewing the wooden training buckler for her hefty heart-shaped shield. Such effort would undoubtedly strengthen both body and mind. Pardon me. Do you believe I shouldn't put stock in such tales? But it sounds perfectly reasonable to me. Well, it sounds okay. Astrid has dedicated herself to making sure Valentine's Day is a smashing success, so it's only right I do the same. As ever, I'll support her as best I can, and I hope you'll continue to lend us a hand when the need arises. Cool. I think that's it, Sunslam. 
I think so, yeah. Where should we take the um, picture of that? For a screenshot. Yeah, hold on, I'm gonna see if there's anything here. Purveyor of love. And the butler. What's he gonna yeah. do? Oh, okay, that's... Oh! What do they got? They have the heart chair. Chair. Oh. You're gonna buy that, sure. Yeah, I guess I'll buy the chair. Oh, I gotta clean my inventory out, so it's so bad right now. Oh, she bought us the heart, the chocolate there, see that? Yeah, I see that, that's awesome. Get the G-pose on. Let's see here. <laughs> Actually, it's not bad. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this uh, episode. And, uh, yeah. We miss all you guys who used to watch our streams. Thanks so much, Charles, today for stopping by and saying hi to us. For giving us a gift and for giving us some Valentine's gifts and uh, wishing us a happy Chinese New Year, too. So, um, yeah. Love you guys. Thanks so much again. And, uh, stay safe out there. Slam. Yeah, thanks for watching, Heroes. Uh, stay safe, stay cool, stay frosty out there. Bye. See you in the next one. Bye, heroes. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.